actually talking about serendipity also, but kind of a different form of serendipity maybe. Uh, I grew up in Texas and uh, moved to the University of Missouri to go to school. I wanted to experience a thing called seasons. So I uh, studied engineering there. It was not something that I really loved right off the bat, but it was something that I was really passionate about. Uh, the school was really big. It was a huge change for my life from growing up in Texas, meeting new people, and it was, it was really fun. Uh, but then one day I had a seizure, and I was brought into the emergency room. And uh, my best friend at the time brought me there. And it was a pretty scary situation. I was actually taken care of by a paramedic uh, that was just about a year older than me, which was incredibly comforting. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, a, few, you know, a few semesters later, I was like, you know, maybe Missouri is not the place for me. I was really liking the idea of moving to California. So I packed up everything I owned got into a Mazda protege and drove across the country to Sonoma County, where I enrolled at the JC in Santa Rosa. And there I had no friends, so I hopped on MySpace, because that's what we did in 2005, and met a girl named Kayla. This is our first reply between each other. And we became friends immediately. Kayla uh, is still my friend to this day. She got me a job at my very first Starbucks. Uh, it was <laughs> Starting Point, Santa Rosa, if anybody remembers me. Uh, <laughs> Oh. Uh, and it was actually there that uh, I had a, a great team of people. It was when I started to break out of my own shell and become like, hey, everybody, here I am. And there was a guy that would come in every day and order a tall coffee. He was our assistant manager's boyfriend, and we just called everybody by the drink, so we called him, hey, tall coffee. And uh, it, was, it was the best experience of my life, really. I mean, working at Starbucks, believe it or not. Uh, but shortly thereafter, my grandfather died, and it really broke my heart. He was someone that I really loved and was close to. And I felt I needed a change again. So I actually went back to Columbia to start my life over for a third time. I had multiple degrees I was working on and said I should get this done. I moved there, met a guy named Chase. He became my best friend. And Chase was actually was encouraging me to date this guy uh, who was named Ryan, who was a paramedic. And I went to D.C. that summer to hang out with my best friend, who you might remember was Landon. And he was like, hey, you know that Ryan is not just a paramedic. He was your paramedic. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, that night that you were in the ER from your seizure, your paramedic was Ryan. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. This is, this is serendipitous. I mean, this is something that I have to continue on with. So I actually start dating Ryan, and he gets me to do things that I normally wouldn't do, like what I'm passionate about, not what I should do. I was passionate about photography, and so because of him, I started doing photography. I started doing more liberal arts things instead of just sciencey things, though I still like science, and people make fun of me for that. Um, so I actually uh, focused on things that I liked, which really changed my outcome in life. And so it's photography. I discovered that I really like to bake, and I really like to be social and meet people, even if it is just on the Internet. It's still social. Uh, so I uh, actually had a bunch of extra ingredients one night, and I was like, i got to use these before they go bad, so I baked a cake. And I said, hey, do you want to come over? A few friends. We'll watch a movie. And they're like, yeah, that sounds great. Did it? Everyone's like, can we do this again next week? And I said, well, yes. And so for about two years, I did a cake and a movie night. And it became kind of a thing. I actually traveled to France and did a cake and movie night. And I visited my family in Saudi Arabia, and we did a cake and a movie night. And it's something that people love. And you should do it yourself. You, we use the hashtag pound C-A-M-M, oh, C-A-A-M, cake and a movie. Uh, you can't say no to cake, can't say no to wine and movies. Uh, with the photography that went with that, I actually got pretty good at it, and I got my first gallery show totally on accident. I was just trying to rent the gallery for my graduation party, because I actually did graduate. And uh, then the Tribune said, hey, this was a great uh, opening. So I got written up in the Tribune. It was really fun, uh, something that I was not expecting at all, just like the job I got shortly after, which with this company, with this dude, uh, I was sent an email from Ryan who said, hey, this is really cool. You might be interested. It was an amazing promotional video for this company. And so I sent them a, I wrote a blog post. And three days later, I was basically offered a job from the vice president where I got a chance to shoot for the New York Times. So I was fresh out of college and writing, or shooting for the New York Times, which is an amazing thing, especially if you're coming out of a journalism school and everybody else is starving for food. Uh, but then Ryan got offered a job in San Francisco. So we packed up everything. And again, I moved to the West, where I really like to be, and moved to San Francisco, started my own marketing company. I do social media, but don't hate. And uh, <laughs> this is my blog. It's just Justin. And just five days ago, I got an email from a guy that said, hey, you might not remember me. I used to go into your Starbucks. 
I'm tall coffee. And uh, I think you'd be great to do an Ignite presentation. And I was like, what? So my, this is how this, this all fits together. So I needed seasons. I moved to Missouri. I had a seizure. I met a paramedic. I moved to California. I w- got a job as a barista. I had a death. I moved back to Missouri. I re-met the paramedic. I got a... Ah, and then all of a sudden, here I am getting an email saying, hey, can you give a night talk? And if that's not serendipity, I don't know what is. 